I'm going to be tying the Parachute Adams Emerger. Uh, this is by far one of the most effective mayfly patterns that I fish. I'm going to be tying this Emerger pattern on an Allen Fly Fishing N204 BL hook between the sizes of 14 through 16. This particular hook is a barbless scud hook which has a downed eye, two at short shank and a thin wire. This hook is very sharp, it's super strong and has a beautiful nickel finish. So go ahead and check them out by visiting www.allenflyfishing.com. Let's begin by attaching our thread at the index point and advancing our thread halfway down the hook shank and trim off the excess thread. Now continue to advance your thread back towards the bend of the hook with your thread base ending halfway down the actual bend of the hook. To create the tail of the fly, I'm going to be using some fibers from a mottled brown hen saddle feather. Go ahead and preen off a clump of hen saddle fibers from the quill, ensuring that the tips are even, and attach them at the end of the thread base. You want the tail of the fly to be around a half a shank length long, so go ahead and grab the butt ends of the hen saddle fibers and pull them towards the eye of the hook until you have an appropriate length tail. Now advance your thread forward, binding down the butt ends of the hen saddle fibers to the hook shank as you wrap. With your thread hanging two eye lengths behind the eye of the hook, go ahead and trim off the excess hen saddle fibers as close as you can to the tie down point. To create the post of the fly, I'm going to be using a cylinder foam post, so go ahead and attach the foam post to the top of the hook shank, somewhere between one and a half to two eye lengths behind the eye of the hook. Now advance your thread to the 50% point of the hook shank, binding down the foam to the top of the hook shank as you wrap. Now trim off the excess foam as close as you can to the tie down point. Go ahead and advance your thread forward to the initial tie down point of the foam and then back to the 50% point, binding down the foam to the hook shank as you wrap. Go ahead and continue to advance your thread between the initial tie down point of the foam and the base of the tail, creating a nice smooth taper. With your thread hanging just in front of the base of the tail, go ahead and pull out a small amount of Adams Gray Superfine dubbing and apply it to your thread. Now begin to advance your dub thread around the hook shank, beginning at the base of the tail, and then forward creating a nice smooth tapered abdomen, ending at the base of the foam post. To create the legs of the emerger, let's use an appropriate size dark bark ginger hackle feather. To ensure that the hackle is an appropriate size, go ahead and wrap the hackle around the front part of the foam post. The hackle fibers should extend anywhere between a half to a full eye length past the eye of the hook. Now peel off the webby fibers from the base of the quill and attach the quill of the hackle flush against the base of the foam post with secure thread wraps. There should be a section of bare quill exposed between the initial tie down point of the quill of the hackle and the start of the hackle fibers. Begin to advance your thread forward, ending just behind the eye, binding down the bare quill to the hook shank as you wrap. Go ahead and trim off the excess quill just behind the eye. Now advance your thread back, 
just in front of the foam post and apply a small amount of Adams Gray Superfine Dubbing to your thread. Now continue to wrap your dub thread around the hook shank, beginning with one wrap behind the foam post and then forward, ending just behind the eye of the hook. Now grasp the hackle feather and begin to wrap the hackle around the base of the foam post in a clockwise direction around four to five times. With the hackle placed on the near side of the hook shank just behind the eye of the hook, go ahead and secure the hackle to the hook with a few secure thread wraps. Try to weave your thread in between the hackle fibers, ensuring that the fibers don't cover up the eye of the hook. Now grasp the post and hackle fibers and pull them back away from the eye of the hook and create a small thread head just behind the eye of the hook. Now cut off the excess hackle as close as you can to the tie down point as well as any other hackle fibers that may be covering up the eye of the hook. Now finish your fly with four to five half hitches and cut off the excess thread. Now trim the foam post so it's somewhere between one and a half to two eye lengths in length. And that's how you tie the Parachute Adams Emerger.